Hey, we're about to go into Halloween City. Yep, we're going to check out some Halloween stuff together. This is the first time we've got to do some shopping together for Halloween. I'm so excited to see what they got in there. She's going to keep me from spending more money than I should, so that's probably a good thing. All right, we'll see you inside Halloween City. Here it is. We're on our way in. Sweet. Wait up, babe. So here we go. We're about to go into Halloween City here. Uh, they've got their doors all themed up here. Uh, this is our first time in this one here, so we're going to see what they got here. So come on inside. Oh, and we got the Pennywise balloon here. And it is automated. That is pretty doggone cool. I think I can dig it. Very cool. No, you're Sorry. <laughs> We've also got the big Beetlejuice sandworm here. Very cool. And they've actually got some really cool themed out areas. I like the uh, the pop that they have. What does that say? I think it says uh, Kilgore. Maybe they'll sell some of this stuff when they're done with the season. This is some really cool pop. And as my wife pointed out here, the sandworm is $1.99. Not bad for such a cool looking piece. That's a really cool inflatable to have out for your front lawn. And then we've got our scarecrow. I don't think he's set up yet. And he, uh, I've seen the animation on him. He basically waves that shovel at you. It's pretty funny, really cool. Very similar to the guy with the chainsaw that Spirit has. And he is called Smiling Jack. And let's see what he's going for. Excuse the uh, Pennywise cutout here. Don't see a price on him. We will get that price for you at some point. Okay, over here we got some door knockers that are pretty cool. Look at this. These are $39.99. Let's show you a little better. That sounds a little weird. Good thing you're here. We've been getting hungry. That's creepy. <laughs> um, this is, I think, oh, this is a balloon that kind of floats. Flying balloon. I wish we could have seen that. They got some pinups here. Freddy Krueger. They got Chucky. Who doesn't love a good Chucky? So, I know this one had the... The babe, what was the name of that one that was over here that I saw the one day? The whaling. Oh, oh the, um, the so, whaling goat. Uh, no, nah, it wasn't a whaling goat. As you can see here, um, they don't have everything fully set up yet, not animated, but we've got a lot of stuff out here for you to see here. Uh, this looks like a Pennywise. I'm not sure if it has an animation, but it's a good looking piece. Very creepy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Very cool. And then it looks like we've got kind of like the bullseye clown here. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to see if, no, I don't think he's working because as we can see here, the step pad has been severed. So, but I think basically all he does is kind of rotate around like kind of like the old carnival theme where you have guys throwing knives at the target and uh, I guess the target would be him. Uh, but he's very, that's a funny thing. If you've got the clown theme going, this fits right in for you. Between him and Pennywise, you'll have a nice, nice setup to your atmosphere. 
And then of course we've got the tombstone lineup, some really cool tombstones. And the one thing I want to point out for you guys here is that these are $6.99. You can't beat that. Buy two, you get one free. And they've got a buy two, get one free. And they've actually got some really cool looking tombstones. I like this pure evil one. Uh, then they also have the dead will rise. Nice looking tombstones and they're your standard size. So you can really use that uh, for your, your graveyards. Um, and they aren't as flimsy as some of the ones I've seen in the past. Hey, uh, look at the grave breakers that they have. Oh yeah, also. and we do have some grave, some grave busters here. Busters. Uh, grave breakers, actually she was right. Oh. Um, and these are $24.99 and it looks like it's two of them, which is, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That may be something to think about. You can never have enough stuff like this and just really give your graveyard a pop. So for all you haunters out there uh, looking for a solution for that, this can definitely, uh, this can definitely help. I think, I think my wife is grabbing one. I'm gonna grab one and see what it looks like. Okay. Little, oh, no, you get one. Oh, it's one. One or the other. And I was hoping that it says life size. So that's what it would look like. That's not too bad. No. So there's your grave breaker. Got some more tombstones here with the gargoyle here. The uh, let me out. Really cool stuff. Uh, this year I really wanted to do some foam work and tombstones, but with all the stuff and work, we didn't really get around to that. So that's probably going to be next year's um, project. There we go here. And for you guys who are on our Instagram page, you do see that we were working on a spider, so... And that probably took us longer than it should have for some of our really, really advanced crafters out there. We are not advanced. But this is another tombstone, rest in pieces. Once again, these are $6.99, buy two, get one free. Really good deal. And then you've got your tried and true rip, rest in peace. You got that one. And then you've got a traditional cross, kind of like the Celtic cross set up here, real cool. But all of these tombstones are $6.99, and like I, we said before, you buy two, get one free. So you can really kind of bolster your tombstone collection here without spending a lot of cash. Look at this, a pop-up coffin. <laughs> Who can't use a pop-up coffin? All right. A front yard essential, I'll say. Or someone could use it for their clothes. Yep, this is true. This is, this is true. Our clothes you're getting rid of for a yard sale. That'd be cool. And then we've got some fencing. Um, and let's see what that fencing is. It is, looks like it's $5.99 um, for this section. And I think you get two of these sections. So, not bad. <laughs> You've got the help me sign. <laughs> with oh, the little with the little hand in it. Hand. Yeah, so it's kind of like a grave buster. Pretty cool. Very cool. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. And that one's 10 bucks. Yeah. And then uh, you have plenty of these tombstone stakes, which I'm going to go out right now and say, do yourself a favor. Go get some PVC pipe and some rebar and use that as your tombstone solutions. These things are a joke. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're desperate and you have no wind where you live, feel free. And then we've got a little bar clay sign here, our bury, <laughs> bury them deep. <laughs> Don't make me come up there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so, very cool. So there's your tombstone and fencing solutions here. Here we go, we got the skeleton collection. We're gonna start with the little guys here. If you're, uh, you want some porch hangers here, you know, you wanna hang some stuff from your lights or your sconces outside. Or if you just want to do something cool indoors, you got these little small guys, they're really cool. And they're actually pretty detailed for little skeletons. You can see the work here. They're actually really good looking. They did a good job on these guys. And I think the mouth moves. Yep. So very cool. And then obviously we get bigger. We've got your, your five foot size here. And these are going for, let's see here, $34.99. So, not bad, about five, about five dollars more than Home Depot. So if they're gone at Home Depot, you can definitely get them here. 
and the little guys will go back here I apologize those were $2.99 so good deal Check out its eyeballs, glowing oh. eyeballs. Oh, glowing eyeballs. Keep tuned, we'll be showing you some glowing eyeballs soon. <laughs> now, these are the eyeballs my wife wanted you to see here. Um, Jamie has got her some, and I believe we are going to use those in some fashion in the, um, house. In the house. So, uh, but then of course, they have all the other LED okay. solutions here, the little ghosts. And little jack lanterns and bats so pretty cool pretty stuff cool. okay here is a section where we have the hanging hanging um, ghouls ghosts goblins and all that fun stuff so um, right now they are wow these are 499 that's pretty cool and they are they look like they're about I'm gonna say about five foot about five foot hangers from top to bottom, maybe four, maybe four, but still, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. And then we've got some larger size ones here. She is creepy looking. Oh man. And I'm, ass I'm assuming, this is a six footer, so I'm assuming these are a little more, let's see if we can get a, uh, it is, no, 10 bucks. 10 bucks for a nice six foot hanger. That is nice. That is really nice. And I believe the arms are posable, right, babe? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So you got the wireframe so you can pose the arms and do some really cool stuff. We may end up snagging one of those. I think those are pretty cool. We'll look at some of the other ones we have here and see what the options are. And they've got some really small ones, you know, uh, if you're doing like, you know, just a small tabletop theme or just something inside or indoors, the little small ones work. Uh, you've got even medium size. I mean, just about every size hanger they've got. And these are awesome because if you're starting out doing a haunt or you're just decorating, this is a very inexpensive way to get uh, some really nice looking pieces out and really creep things out. So just, and it sounds like Jamie has found something. So, so guys, gonna... just to let you know, all the four foot hangers are three for 12. So you get a little bit of a discount from the four foot ones. Very cool. Once again, like I said, these are a great inexpensive way to decorate, especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to do a deep dive on the wallet. This is a really good option. And then uh, Jamie has found a fun ghost here. Oh, I love it. And this looks like these, I think this is kind of going to be the six foot variety. So I think these are 10 bucks. I'm just going to confirm that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yep, nice. these are these are ten bucks. So these are they got some really nice hanging options here. So I, I'm really uh, really jazzed about this. So this may be a good place to come to get some filler. Uh, so once again, we've got another six foot option here. Actually, he looks like he's more than six foot. So this guy may be a little more. We're gonna give you a price tag here. Let's see, ten bucks. These are awesome, guys. I'm telling you what. Um, this is awesome. Uh, the hanging options that they've got are really nice. And uh, there's a witch here. I'm going to have uh, Jamie show you her oh, face. She yeah. looks really cool. Her eyes light up. Her eyes light up, but I don't think we have batteries inside. But this one is oh, a little more. Oh, no, they lit up. She's cool. We have a hanging witch also very similar. But this one is $29.99. So, but she does have some audio and she does have light up eyes. So, it's a little bit more than some of the other ones, but still a nice looking piece. And we have uh, kind of the Reaper hanger here. Uh, this one is 21 bucks here. He's also gonna be almost, I'm gonna say probably nine, feet, nine, nine foot all the way out. So not bad, 21 bucks and he's got some of that creepy cloth so you can really kind of really i would probably say getting even more to kind of deck him out um and then you've got another reaper option here in black so those are some really nice pieces once again 21 
and these are and these guys can go up pretty high so if they're nine foot you can really use them to look imposing in certain areas good looking stuff good job good job halloween city and of course for our circus fanatics here we've got a pretty talk on cool looking clown here he is pretty cool he's creepy and i think he's also going to be nine, nine foot nine foot so in this guy we're looking once again around uh, the 30 dollar option here much like the witch here he has audio and light up eyes and the detail on the uh, face is actually really cool looking he's creepy i'd say you definitely want to pick this guy up he can definitely work in your setup okay nope. guy no all right this guy we found he is pretty cool he's like a little demon but he has like wings he's $14.99 his little eyes glow but it's not working right now pretty creepy we got Ursula for our oh of course fun theme villains people who want to yes be can't forget Ursula <laughs> And she's 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 gonna be licensed, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a little more expensive than some of the other ones. I can find a tag on here. License stuff always hits you. This one is, yep, thirty bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this one, which we did. Oh, see this we one. did yep. see this one. Yep. yep. So that's pretty much it for the hanging ones. Okay. So, you know, Halloween City is part of Party City. So they literally is the, they're the best place I feel like to go for Halloween. They have everything you need for the, any type of costume you want. They got it. This shirt is pretty awesome. He's on a skateboard, right? I mean, everything. This is the slasher gore area you got chucky you got it you got jason you got scream you know they're also known for all their little signs things like this great for house parties inside i just had to show you guys real quick So in the end, um, I'm gonna say Halloween City was actually pretty cool. Um, there's actually some stuff that I'm planning on going back for, so but we are not done. We came out with empty hands. Because just couldn't pull the trigger on anything because we're still in the middle of about 20,000 projects of which none are finished. So it kind of makes me pause on putting any more caveats into the soup so right now we're gonna hang but i highly recommend you guys check out halloween city uh the values on the stuff they have is really good you can get a, a good bang for your buck there so i highly recommend it and as far as costumes got a ton amazing of amazing amount of costumes make sure you guys go check them out if you're looking for a good costume if you're going to a costume party this year the other thing is make sure you guys uh subscribe if you have not hit that bell you want to see everything that's coming up we got hollow weekends we got uh wired's orchard we have a garage sale a haunted garage sale coming up um tons of local stuff tons all of kinds of stuff coming up you guys don't want to miss it i know we haven't had tons of content but it's coming it's coming and thank you for your patience we're, we're new to this and we're getting we're really cutting our teeth on it so we appreciate all of you who have tuned in and watched our content so far um and uh we are looking forward to not disappointing you with more stuff to come so have Bye. a great one. Bye. Thank you. Thumbs up.